Hi, I'm Lee Reynolds, one of the co-founders of Desert Hearts. Most people these days call me Papa Lee, which I love. I've been DJing since the early 90s when I fell in love with the ambient music of the time. I used to do all the ambient rooms around San Diego, the Orb, KLF, Chill Out, and the Future Sound of London. I was super into the psychedelic ambient sounds that were out at that time. Hugely inspired by people from the West Coast like Doc Martin, Marky Clark, Barry Weaver. Started DJing around San Diego and throwing ambient parties and that's still always been like a huge part of the music I play I think is the like psychedelic and uh, trippy side of things. Just got back into de into producing a couple of years ago, putting together my studio, and I'm pretty excited to have the next release coming out on Desert Heart Records. The first track is Flores, the second track is Moon Matrix, the third track is Very Heavy, and then the final track is Puma Punku. It's kind of a trippy, dark, like esoteric, techy vibe, which is. Uh, was kind of the meeting ground of me and Machino. I started producing again with my friend Machino, who I've known for a super long time. Met him down in uh, Tijuana when I played my first DJ show down there. about my history. I started riding BMX bikes in 1980. By the time I graduated high school, I was pretty well known in the UK for riding. I've been in a lot of magazines and stuff. I knew that the place I needed to be was California. So I moved here when I was 17 and got to ride for some pretty big bike companies. I got to see a lot of the US. And it was a huge lesson for me at that time, like realizing that it is possible to live your dream and do what you want to do. I think that like really helped when it came to DJing because um, I just knew that if you really put your heart into something and you don't have a, a second choice, then it is gonna work. It has to work. You don't you know don't leave yourself a plan B. And I think even though maybe I was never like technically the best writer, I think everyone knew that I put a lot of heart into what I did. So if I was doing a show for ten thousand people or ten people, it wouldn't matter to me. I would just always like give it everything. Like that's important. Same with DJing, you know. It's like I, I, would, I don't hold back when it's a smaller crowd. If you want to succeed at something, you have to give everything every time you do it. So I think that was a valuable lesson from BMX for sure. My least favorite BMX crash was a couple of weeks after I moved to California. I did a photo shoot with Spike Jones. I did some crazy thing where I couldn't quite get out of what I was doing and just like flipped over the handlebars onto the flat bottom and uh but this i don't know if you can see this photo that was from the that was probably maybe like half an hour before the crash ended up smashing my face on the flat bottom and let's see, let's see i just found this the other day that is uh my tooth that spike found he said about 20 feet away from where i crashed so yeah. now i got fake teeth <laughs> The most valuable thing in life are your friends. So meeting new people and building up a, a network of friends means uh, the most to me. Definitely a blessing hooking up with my partners, the Jungle Crew, Desert Heights as it is now. About five years ago, I was throwing a, a small night at a dive bar. Heard about these guys on the other side of town throwing a house and techno night in North County of all places. Went and checked out the night and was like, holy crap, these guys are killing it. Mikey Lion, Marbs, Deep Jesus, Pork Chop. We're, we're like best buddies right away. It was crazy, like we were destined to meet and started like going to each other's parties, going to other people's parties together. And within about a year, we decided, hey, we just got to do our own party. So that's uh, that's how Desert Heart started. Love those guys. They've definitely like inspired me and I think uh, that uh, they've given me renewed energy because as much as they say that they're always trying to keep up with me, I definitely feel like they, they've given me a new lease for life. Something 
I learned from Lee Scratch Perry is never play anything negative. I always try and like play like positive stuff. If I hear it, there's been songs that I love that had like some, maybe some kind of uh, lyric in it that was not like just 100% positive. I always want to play stuff that's like uplifting. I want people to dance. I want people to almost like go into some kind of ecstatic dance where they forget about like everything. Like the only thing they can think about at that moment is this just tribal energy of the dance floor and the vibe. What kind of brings people together, it just feels like everyone's like one person. My best DJ shows to me are the ones where I can't remember anything specific, but it just seemed like the whole event was just like one pulsating, unified thing. I like it when my wife comes to the DJ booth and it's like, wow, it sounds like aliens are landing. I definitely can't talk about DJing or music without mentioning Zoe, my wife, who has an impeccable taste in music. Anytime I play a DJ set or pick out music, I'm always thinking about would Zoe approve it, would she like it? I think to get a dance floor going, you gotta get the girls dancing. Having a girl that I really trust to like run music by is uh, definitely an amazing asset. I guess like part of my message is trying to show people that you can get old gracefully and still have fun. The more you enjoy an experience and the more you take on, the more the universe just gives you. That probably sounds cheesy, but oh well. <laughs>